Hi, this is an amateur video and voice over of Immerse, a visual art ex exhibition held as one of the many bicentennial celebrations of the births of the Bab and Baha'u'llah, founders of the Baha'i Faith, held at the gallery Creative Arts, Napier. We selected five quotes from the Baha'i writings and an invitation was extended to any artists inspired by these excerpts to create a piece of visual art for the exhibition. About four weeks before it was due to open, we got a bit nervous. We feared that we might have a rather blank wall exhibition. How wrong we were. Over 35 artists contributed to a total of some 64 artworks. The pieces are so diverse. Colour, size, energy, vision, media, interpretation, imagination, with an artist age range from 3 to 65 plus. We are thrilled with the outcome. A stunning display of the unity and diversity that is one of the enduring principles of the Baha'i Faith. I'd like to explain one piece of artwork. It's the one coming up with the big bunch of red roses. The picture above the red roses that you will see is a photo, is a gift from a group of Baha'i women prisoners in Iran for the bicentennial events being held worldwide. Since the beginnings of the Baha'i faith, Baha'is have been persecuted in Iran. They have been tortured and murdered, imprisoned in wretched conditions, evicted from their homes, which are then ransacked and burnt, children expelled from schools, and youth permanently barred from universities. All this only because they will not recant their faith. Despite this, the national administrative body of the Baha'is in Iran would send a bunch of 19 of the most exquisite deep red roses to the Universal House of Justice, the faith's international governing body, for every significant commemorative Baha'i event. These roses which we have supplied on this occasion are to remind us of the sacrifice of these most loved friends who live in the cradle of our faith. A footnote, since the administration, administrative institutions of the Baha'i community within Iran have been outlawed by the government, we don't know whether this is still happening or not. The quotes selected for the artists. Ah. <laughs> Immerse yourselves in the ocean of my words, that ye may unravel its secrets and discover all the pearls of wisdom that lie hid in its depths. Hear me, ye mortal birds, in the rose garden of changeless splendour a flower hath begun to bloom, compared to which every other flower is but a thorn, and before the brightness of whose glory the very essence of beauty must pale and wither. The source of crafts, sciences and arts is the power of reflection. Make ye every effort that out of this ideal mine there may gleam forth such pearls of wisdom and utterance as will promote the well-being and harmony of all the kindreds of the earth. O Son of Spirit, my first counsel is this, possess a pure, kindly and radiant heart, that thine may be a sovereignty, ancient, imperishable and everlasting. The tabernacle of unity hath been raised, Regard ye not one another as strangers. Ye are the fruits of one tree and the leaves of one branch.
For more information, go to website www.baha'i.org or www.baha'i.org.nz.